Good morning, baby. Are you eating your breakfast? Good morning, everybody. Long time no see. So it's, what is it? It's Tuesday, February 6th. And Avery and I, there she is, are getting back on the vlogging train. So we took like a month or so off, but you know, whatever. I was gonna try to catch you guys up and everything that happened, but it was like, I don't know. It wasn't any one thing in particular. We just took a month off and after not vlogging for so long, it's been really hard to get back into the swing of things. So now we're gonna try to, starting today. So it's Tuesday, February 6th. It is 8.43 a.m. This is way earlier than we usually are up and have breakfast, but little Miss right here decided uh, that it was time to wake up and that was just going to be that. So we're up dressed, um, she's finishing up her mess right now, and we don't have anywhere to go until like 10.40 we'll leave. We're going to go back to the library today. Excuse me, and um, <laughs> what did you throw your spoon on the floor for? <laughs> Mommy's not paying attention to her. So we're gonna go to the library for like the little toddler story time today. And we're gonna go check that out. And then I have a Walmart grocery pickup right after that. I kinda tried to schedule it so that it would be done, it would be ready about the same time that we're leaving the library. Clearly she wants attention, so I'm gonna go clean her up and we'll see you in a little while. All right guys, I got my little helper right here who's actually eating the project. We're gonna put together a little sensory project for us to play with later. Um, I bought these little Orby things off of Amazon and I'm going to put together a little bowl of them. It says to soak them for like six to 10 hours and it's nine o'clock now so that means she'll get to play with them like right around dinner time when Mark gets home and they can play together. Um, so I am going to put a couple tablespoons of those into the bowl and get the right amount of water in it so those can start soaking and expanding and we'll show you them later on when we play with them. Last night too, we ended up bringing some of the snow inside in this bowl actually. And I set her down on a mat over there and she had a blast. So we're probably gonna do that again today so she could play with the snow with the cups and little colanders and stuff like that. And then we'll play with the Orbeez later on once they're fully expanded. Okay, helper bee. Let's see. We need a tablespoon. Mommy's reaching into the dishwasher. Let's see. One leveled, oh, a teaspoon. Well, that's boring. A teaspoon, let's do a tablespoon. We'll do it three, three times. Three teaspoons and a tablespoon, Avery Bean. Okay, you got that? Watch, watch, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Mama's gotta pour it. Watch. Uh. What? And here, don't play with those little ones. Here's this. We gotta read. Three cups of water to the one teaspoon of beads. So we need to double or triple that. So three, six, nine. Nine cups of water. Let's do it. All right guys, that is all done. Let me show you what it looks like. That's with the Orbeez. It says just one teaspoon for three cups of water, so I tripled it and made it a tablespoon in nine cups. I don't know, I've never used them before, so hopefully it turns out okay. But we are 9.04. We have plenty of time. I think we're gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna do some cleaning. I just finished vacuuming over there. That's the fun of having three dogs. You get to vacuum multiple times a day. 
So I'm gonna go downstairs and vacuum and let Avery play with her toys until it's time to leave. She wants the Orbeez now, don't ya? Don't mind Avery's mess over there on the floor. See the spoons and the bowls? Ah! See you soon. Hey guys, so it is 2.46. Um, I just wanted to hop on here real quick and update you as to what is going on. Basically, I've been having symptoms the last couple days and um, I was going to do a pregnancy test live and film it and make it part of the vlog and catch that initial reaction on camera. And um, we didn't make it that far. So let me give you a little bit of a background information, um, a story first, I guess. So basically anybody who knows me knows I knows how badly I want multiple kids, multiple children. And um, Avery was exclusively breastfed by me. So because we were breastfeeding for so long, um, there's no like exact science as to when you get your cycle back again and start ovulating again and all that stuff. So it was kind of just a waiting game. I mean, we were like trying, so to say, the whole time, but um, you know, without me getting a period or anything like that, it was kind of hard to, it was just kind of like, let's just not prevent it and see what happens. But then I ended up getting my very first period back on January 5th and I was so, so excited because in my mind, it was go time. I was like, yes, at least I know everything's working again and let's do this. Um, so we've been trying um, hard <laughs> for the last month and the last few days I've been having you know more and more symptoms of either a period or a pregnancy hard to tell right so I was having like lower back pain and extreme fatigue I mean I don't know if you guys can see like the bags under my eyes I've just been so so tired lately um there's like people walking past my car and it feels super awkward but anyway I'm gonna keep talking I'm just gonna roll with it uh so I've been like, okay, maybe this is it. Now, mind you, I'm one of those people that I found this out when I was getting pregnant with Avery, um, that I am like a serial pregnancy tester. <laughs> like, I get so excited, I cannot wait. I wanna like test every single morning, just in case that's the morning, and I have been doing that. I've taken the pregnancy test for like the last five days, I wanna say. Um, but those cheapy ones, like you can buy like those little like pre-pack or, you know, individually packaged strips on Amazon. They're like 25 or 30 for $7.99. It's like nothing, you know, not, not like buying, you know, a two pack of them for like 10 bucks in the store. Um, so I've been taking those. Well, because I've been having these symptoms lately, but I haven't been getting my period and it's been like what, 30, like three days. I was like, okay, maybe they're just not picking up because I have read before and I have heard of people before testing negative on those and then getting like a first response brand one because like supposedly that one's like the most sensitive um, and those ones being positive. So I was okay, my camera cut out on me, sorry guys. So anyway, so I wanted to try a first response one um, thinking that maybe that that might be positive. I was feeling pretty confident um, so I ordered those as part of my grocery order that I picked up today and I was super excited because I was going to go home after the library and test and uh, film it and I was really really anxious um, and then as soon as I got home I discovered that I had my period so yeah <laughs> so there goes that idea I guess we didn't conceive this cycle um, now here's the problem I know that it's silly to be upset right now. I know that there are people out there, there are women out there that have a really hard time and go through a lot to have a baby. And I know that, and I get that. And I'm happy that I even have a child to begin with when some people don't even get that. But, like, I know in my brain that that's rational. Um, because it's only been one month since I've had my cycle again and let's 
not be ridiculous, but um, my heart doesn't want to listen to my brain and I'm still sad. I've already cried about it and I'm just trying not to feel bummed, but I'm really bummed. I, I was just excited. I worked myself up quite a bit and I mean, it's hard not to. How do you not? How do you not get excited? Like, especially when you start feeling symptoms. Like I was like, like sitting at library time with Avery, like thinking, oh my gosh, like a little bit longer, we're gonna find out a little bit longer. I like to saved my first morning urine um, because I knew I was going to take one when I got home. So I saved it, I was ready to rock and roll and surprise. <laughs> so I don't know, I'm sad, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but there's always next month, so stay tuned, guys. Uh, you know, if those kind of videos, these like trying to conceive and pregnancy updates and all that stuff are your thing, then uh, you'll want to hit that subscribe button and come with me on our journey. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long, we'll see. But, um, anyway. Avery and I still had a great time at the library. We are at uh, Meyer now. There was a couple things in the Walmart uh, grocery order that they were out of stock or whatever. So I just came here. I tried to get Avery to take a nap first and she didn't want to. So of course, as soon as we start driving, she falls asleep. So we're here now. We're gonna get the couple things we need and we're gonna head home. And we'll see what the rest of the day brings us. I don't know. I'm trying not to be sad, but I'm sad, so. See you guys in a little bit. Hey you. Are you mad at me for waking you up? But you didn't want a nap at home. You got an avocado? Uh. She's grumpy guys. I had to wake her up. And she was not happy, were ya? Hi. You guys, can someone please tell me why my child is trying to chew I shouldn't say trying. Very successfully chewing on a potato. Every time I try to take it away from her, she gets very upset. And she seems to like it, which is super disgusting. Is that good? Yeah, you guys remember the conversation we just had in the car? There's a little bit of therapy right there. Good old Ben and Jerry. And Avery's potato. Are you, are you cuddling with your doggy? You guys, this is like the only way she'll stand and walk is if she's walking along with Coda. She holds onto his fur like that and if he walks, she'll move with him. Won't ya? Okay, we're home from the store. Mommy's trying to cheer up and feel a little better. We're watching some Toy Story. Oh yeah? Go ahead. Walk with Coda. Come on, Coda. Come on, Coda. Coda, come. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to lure him with her cheese stick. Come on, buddy. Come on. You guys are making this shot impossible. Look at those cuties. You gotta get walking. The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. <laughs> Hi, sweet girl. You want some more of your cheese stick? I know Coda did, there you are. Yes, I know you want some, but you can't have it. All right, guys. So it's a little bit later now. It's 5, like 25 or something like that. Um, I've been attempting to watch the episode of This Is Us. And let me just show you guys what happened. So Avery was having a little snack of raisins. I had like the big container of raisins on my lap, like just helping her get one at a time. But as if any of you watch This Is Us and you watch the Super Bowl episode, you already know how super tense the first like 10 minutes were. So I was very engaged in it. She wants to say hi now. 
I was very engaged in it and let me just show you something. You see this pile of raisins? You see how many are there? Mixed with the dog hair? Disgusting, I know. That is the pile of raisins that made it onto the floor. She was taking the raisins out one by one. Oh really? And throwing them onto the floor. And I was so engaged in the show, I didn't even notice. And I looked down and there was just raisins everywhere. <sighs> so I picked those up. I'm trying, I'm trying so hard to keep her up. She would not nap. Her nap schedule is all out of whack right now. But um, she's starting to get to be a little unbearable right now. As you can see. So I think I'm going to go take her upstairs and lay her down for just a little bit before Mark gets home. We got a little bit before he is going to arrive. And then uh, we'll check in when he gets home. We'll uh, let you guys say hi to Mark. You haven't seen him in a while. So we'll see you in a little bit, okay? Well, that turned into an unexpectedly long nap. It is 8.07. We slept for almost two hours. And yes, we. I told you guys, I have been exhausted lately. Like, that is for real. I understand why now. There was a reason, but I am tired. So, Mark is still not home yet. It was a late day for him. So, I'm okay with the fact that we took a late nap because now we're going to stay up a little bit later, spend time with Mark. Um... I know a lot of kids go to bed early. Um, I've had some people say stuff to me before about Avery's bedtime being too late from what they thought it should be. But here's the thing, guys. Um, her daddy doesn't get home until 7 o'clock most days, and if not later, like today. And spending time with him is important to both her and me and him. So honestly, it's whatever works best for your own family and that's what works best for us. So we're going to stay up late right now or stay up a little bit later tonight and uh, spend some time with him. So right now we just put on Hercules. They have some uh, pretty good selection of Disney movies on Hulu. So we're watching Hercules now and I made Avery a little bit of a dinner but she just kind of munched on it. I didn't make her sit at the table or anything because she eats better when she kind of likes snacks right now so she had a little bit of more rotisserie chicken and um some cheddar bunnies and some grapes so she's just hanging out now all right you. daddy's home and we're playing with our orbeez we made earlier Ooh. Ooh, it's cold. and this is the disaster <laughs> <laughs> i put the towel down underneath the stove because some of them were rolling under there. But at least the little lip in our kitchen floor is containing them. <laughs> and Avery crawled in the bowl already. <laughs> but she's having fun, aren't you, baby? Is this fun, Avery? <sighs> Those go far. Boing! <laughs> Get it, baby! 